Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I want to give you a hands-on here with the Lee Mac Pro from Lee TV. Lee TV is not a company we have actually heard for here in the United States. They're actually based in China, and they're actually a content service provider, but they decided to make some hardware, and they made some TVs, but now they're making some phones as well, too. And this is the Lee Max Pro, and what's unique about this, this is the first phone to come with the new Snapdragon 820 processor and uh, system chipset inside of here. So what you get is a phablet-style phone, it's got a 6.33 inch QHD to WQHD display, so it's a wide QHD display. So you're getting 25, 60 by 1440, so that's roughly around the 2K range in terms of the display here itself. Um, it's gonna rock, like I said, a Qualcomm Snapdragon 820. It's gonna have four gigabytes of RAM inside of it. Here on the back, you have a, uh, a new fast fingerprint center. I believe it uses Qualcomm Snapdragon Sense uh, fingerprint center on the back of it. Also with a 21 megapixel camera with optical image stabilization on the back of it. We have a two-tone flash as well too. Um, you can see it has a nice all metal design and build to it. You can see the antenna band sort of around the corners here. You do have the power button here on the side. Looks like you have your SIM trace card slot here, probably your SD card slot here on the side as well too to expand the storage. Now it comes built in with what I believe is going to be about 64 gigabytes of storage built into it, but you can obviously add more to it with micro SD card support. You have the volume rocker here. Um, in the front you have, I believe this is an 8 megapixel camera right here on the front. Here on the bottom you see two um, speakers, speaker grills, and then you also see a USB Type-C, it's plugged in, but it's a USB Type-C port. So they're also onto that new standard as well too. And you can see it's just a massive phone. You know, you guys know I have big hands, but even I'm having trouble holding a 6.3 inch <laughs> uh, phone here. So now this is uh, running sort of what they call e uh, EMUI. It's very similar to, uh, to the Motion UI that you see with uh, with the Huawei's uh, phones. So everything's sort of on the uh, main screen here. It isn't really an app drawer. But its uh, selling point isn't necessarily that. Let's just kind of swipe up here. Let me show you a version of Android. It should be running 6.0 on this. Let's go ahead and uh, check that. Go to about, about phone. Android version 6.0. So we should see a marshmallow. There it is. I gotta hold it down. Oh, it doesn't do it anymore. All right, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and hit back here. You can see that you have capacitive buttons for your multitask. Of course, you have sort of a unique skin on it where you have your shortcuts here at the top and you have your um, quick access, you have controls, and you have where your multitasking sort of lies right here at the bottom. All right, so let's go, go ahead and head back here. And you have your home and then you have your back button right there. Now what's unique about this is that it has a live TV feature. Elite TV is really all about offering you live television and content close to real time as they possibly can. So you see this little live icon right here. If I click on that, it brings me right straight into live TV. So this is TV that's playing on television right now and uh, mostly in China is what they have a lot of this based on. But you can see through the menu guide here, you can rotate through and you see the different uh, television options that they have. And this is something that they said that they can bring to the United States as well too because it's the content that they're providing along with it. And it's sort of the big sell here with uh, Lee TV's phones. They're more, more, more worried about giving you, getting the phone, getting you the content to sort of check out. So let's take a look here. Let's roll down. Let's go to sports. I think sports is right there. So we have NASCAR. Nice Tom Brady right there. Five for Brady, by the way. <laughs> and you can see live TV and you can bring up the little quick menu. It kind of lets you know what's going on. You can switch to a soccer game. Just have to wait for it. And there we go right there. And this does this we can use get this in HD and even Ultra HD. Obviously it depends on content market and area. So now we have this playing soccer match live on TV. Looks like it's I'm not sure which club. It's an MLS, so it's, it looks like it's uh, Columbus versus Portland MLS soccer. So you can see that and it's playing in Ultra HD, so you're getting a, this is probably 2K feed coming in to watch the content. All right, so we can just hit back out of here and then hit home. And that's pretty much it with what you got with the Leaf phone. And like its big selling point, truthfully, is, is, is all about the content it delivers. But it's bringing bring some pretty good hardware as well, too. You see, like, like I said, a very nice display on it, good all-metal build, Snapdragon 820 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's really pumping the good stuff here. So um, they said uh, right now this isn't available just yet, but it will be available in uh, China and the U.S. at some point. So this is something you can buy directly on at Leaf. TV's website, so you can buy it right there if you want to as well. So it's pretty cool. So this is the Lee Max Pro coming from Lee TV. Be sure to post your questions, comments, and concerns below. Let me know what you guys think. 
Um, also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page, connect with us on all social networks, check all our other videos from CES 2016, and always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.